it's Nerdburger here, and welcome to another exciting episode of Cool Tapes, the show where I show you VHS tapes and talk about movies that I've watched, because that's what I feel like doing at 5.30 on a Wednesday morning, because I'm a crazy person. Speaking of crazy people, I paid a crazy amount for a tape that I shouldn't have. Is it in the best condition? No. Did they laminate the slick and I didn't even notice? Yes. But that's fine, because the tape works, and we can enjoy it as many times as we want. It's the overly priced... Uh, alligator from 1980. It's a very, very enjoyable creature feature. It has real alligators in it and also um, not animatronic. Well, I guess they are animatronic alligators, but they do use they use like real ones and special effects and not computers, which is a very, very good time. Um, and it's about someone that flushes an alligator down a toilet and then grows into a giant alligator and starts eating people. It's crazy. It's a really good time, and there's a really good scene where the alligator pops out from the street and goes chomp. And another scene where it goes, the alligator goes to a wedding. And you can imagine the chaos that a giant alligator would cause at a wedding. Anyway, so here it is. This is my overly priced VHS. The slick itself features the iconic poster with the alligator in the sewer of New York. The back has the alligator eating people at the wedding, so that's a very good time to look at. Uh, it's in a classic clamshell roadshow quality seal case. Makes that sweet, squeakyish sound. Um, and I'm just very happy that I own it. I never thought I'd own Alligator, even though they literally laminated the slick. And looking at it, I think the slick is just like a photocopy of the actual slick that they then laminated. But that's fine. You know, sometimes you buy a lemon uh, and you just got to accept your fate. But you can still enjoy the lemon for what it is. Tape's real. Slick, not so much. Cover's real. And that's fine. We're going to have a good time and watch Alligator as many times as we want. Because we better, because we pay too much for it. Anyways, moving on to a tape that I watched for the first time. I've never seen this movie till last week. Life Size is a film starring Lindsay Lohan. Everybody's favourite from Freaky Friday, Parent Trap. Perhaps you know her from Mean Girls. Perhaps you know her because she's such a delight and I love her so much and I talk about her all the time. Anyway, it stars Lindsay Lohan. This was a TV movie for Disney Channel. Also has Tyra Banks in it, who plays a Barbie doll come to life. And it's about learning that because the Barbie doll doesn't have all the skills that they have as a Barbie, as a person, and they feel very lame about that. But they learn that you just got to be proud of what you can do and uh, make everyone around you happy with the skills that you do have. So that's a very, very good time. I love this hot pink case. Isn't it lovely? And I've really enjoyed the film. And there's a really good dance scene at the end that's very awkward, like the dance scene in Mean Girls. Well, not se it's not sexy like the one in Mean Girls, but it's like they're not quite good dancers and everyone's doing choreography that looks very awkward. And it's a very big joy to watch. Life size, 10 out of 10, I give it. Another 10 out of 10, Head of the Family. From Full Moon Pictures, I've been working very hard on my Full Moon collection. They are a company that make very strange horror movies. It's like if you crossed a normal adult movie with a lot of, has a lot of sex in it, this one, and then made it like a Disney Channel Halloween movie. So it's like really over the top pantomime-ish with ghosts and ghouls and giant heads um, and you squish those together. That's what Head of the Family is. It's about a offbeat family that lives up whoop whoop in a small town and they steal people and use them for science experiments. Uh, and he's a very smart man, this man in the chair, and there's a girl that just wants to get out of a small town and live an exciting life. And she's a great character, she's really proud to be sexual, and she's just fantastic, I just really enjoyed her. And I've watched this a few times now, like two or three times, and I just can't believe that I own it. And it was just such a great find, Liam managed to win it, and I was so excited. And I have quite a few in my Full Moon collection now. So I've still got a lot to go, but so far it's looking good. I only have one of the Puppet Master movies on VHS, which is one one of you guys sent me, which was just just wonderful. It's magical. It's one of my most prized possessions. And now this will be as well. Head of the Family. Do recommend, if you're in Australia, you can watch it for free on the magical app Tubi. There's a whole section that's just full moon features. You can watch all the full moon movies that you want. Last night, it was Liam's choice of movie, and he chose to watch the Australian film from the 2000s, Ghost Ship. Ghost Ship filmed in Queensland. That's very exciting. Can we just stop for a minute before we talk about the movie? Talk about this price sticker from Kmart. $11.89. Now you don't see that very often. You see a lot of ex-rental stickers, but you don't see actual price tags for tapes from stores. And I can imagine going to the store and going, ooh, look at this cover. I definitely, 
definitely want to hire Ghost Ship, and you do. First of all, let's talk about the opening credits. You know how they show the title of the movie? It's in hot pink. Hot pink Ghost Ship. What about that does not make you want to watch it? It looks fantastic, and it is fantastic. It's a real paint by numbers, if you will, uh, creature feature ghost movie and there's like scientists and they're going out to check out a ship and then one by one they get picked off and you're gonna kind of pick off how each one's gonna die and what order and it's just a really fun cheesy time and there's a really great opening scene it might be one of the greatest that i've ever seen which was so gory and over the top and silly it was just so unexpected for a movie called ghost ship because it's got nothing to it had nothing to do with the movie now that i think about it that didn't come into play at all. In fact, they never actually explained why those people all got cut in half with a giant piece of string. At all. Now that I think about it. Okay, great movie, Ghost Ship. Support Australian cinema and you should watch it if you enjoy ghosts. And um, I feel like they could have put more ghosts in it. I mean, it's called Ghost Ship, so it's a ghost ship, but also a ship filled with ghosts. Ghost Ship, but Ghost Ship. Should have been more ghosts. It was a very good time. Sausage is here. Uh, he has come to say hello. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. I'm a very chubby boy and I'm gonna bite something. Off you pop! And now it's time for So I Married an Axe Murderer. I remember watching this movie as a teenager. Didn't remember anything else about it, but I really enjoyed watching it as an adult. It is exactly what it is. Michael Myers from Shrek fame. Austin Powers has fallen in love with a young woman that he believes to be an axe murderer that he's heard about on the television uh, and the radio. And um, yeah, it's just following that along. He uh, falls in love with her. She's a butcher, which has some really great tense scenes. And she has a really amazing apartment. But can we just talk about the opening scene, which features one of my favorite settings for anything 90s coffee houses? You know, where there's like beatnik poetry and they have giant soup bowl cups of coffee. They have it in Friends, they have it in this. There's also one in Buffy. But I just love the setting of 90s coffee houses I always have. I always wanted to visit one, but I was too young. I never got to actually visit a 90s coffee house, which is a little sad. So I highly recommend this film. It's really strange, dark comedy, and it's not very Mike Myers. Like he plays like one character that's over the top, but other than that, it's just a really interesting dark comedy. Do recommend. How iconic is that cover? Love it. Love, love, love. Let's talk about a movie I did not love, but I used to love. How about that? There's something about Mary. This cover is so iconic. I used to rent it all the time. It it was like one of the most rented movies of its time. Look at that back. It's so good. However, movie doesn't stand up to 2020 standards if you get my drift. It's about a beautiful woman, Cameron Diaz, who's being pursued by three men that are all scumbags. Complete not a scumbags. And they're pretending to be evil they're not and lying to her non-stop. And there's even a character that her brother is someone with a disability and it's played by someone who doesn't have a disability and it's very awkward to watch and terrible and I mean they tried to get people like cast correctly in the background but then the lead character it was wrong it was just so wrong um however there are some good scenes in the movie like the bit with her hair stands up it's really good still and the zipper part's really funny still and Matt, perhaps a very tan booby lady she's still quite funny but most of the movie just makes me very uncomfortable to watch and I just feel sorry for Cameron Diaz having to choose between three scumbags. They're all scumbags. She could do much better. This tape I picked up for one reason. It used to be, in my head, I used to tell people when they said, what's the worst movie you've ever seen? I'd say Chicken Park. And I always thought it was a trauma movie until I actually got this tape and there's no trauma on it anyway. It turns out it's just some strange company that made this ripoff of Jurassic Park using chickens, which sounds like it's gonna be a good time. But I haven't seen this since I was a teenager, like 13 years of age, and I said to people this was the worst movie I've seen, and I was a fan of trauma and stuff like that, so if this is bad, who knows? Who knows what this movie's gonna be like? So I'm looking forward to re-watching it. Liam's never seen it. I wonder if it truly is the worst movie I've ever seen, because I have seen some real poos. I've seen some real poo movies, so... Let's see if it holds up. Another movie that didn't hold up, that used to be one of my favourites as a teenager, is 54. It is all about the Studio 54, which was a club in New York. It was crazy. Everyone, all genders, all sexualities, um, all levels of fame and normal people used to mingle in this club. It was insane. You should look up photos of it. Michael Jackson, you've got Divine hanging out there, RuPaul. 
everyone. It was just such a crazy place. This movie did not represent that at all. It pretty much just follows the very hunky Ryan Philippe and Selma Hayek and Michael Myers plays the club owner and he has weird makeover in there. I've just realised I've watched a few Michael Myers movies this week. That's okay. Uh, and yeah, they're all working in the club and you're pretty much just following Ryan Philippe and it doesn't show any of the craziness of the club at all, really. There's like one scene and you're like, oh, okay, that's what the club's like, but you really didn't get a feel for it. It was not good and I didn't care for the relationship. I didn't care for Ryan Philippe. He has dead face. He has like no emotion. Apparently they all got the Razzies that year for this movie, but I remember loving this movie, but I think it's just because Ryan Philippe is shirtless for like 90% of the time. So... Lastly, let's talk about a movie I haven't watched yet, but I purchased purely because the cover was so flipping awesome. It's called Scorpion Gathering. It's from the 80s. Have you seen the movie? You should let me know if it's any good. Probably watch this tonight. It's my movie choice tonight, so I'll either watch Alligator or Scorpion. And um, I bought it because the cover is so cool. He has a moustache, aviators, he's bursting through glass, he has a leather jacket on. This looks like a fake movie cover. You know whenever someone's like, this is what the 80s action movies were like, and they create this? But this is real. This is actually what the movie was. So that's pretty cool, you know? And it also has a quote from Chuck Norris on the back that says, I fought him three times and never got even. He's, he's a great fighter and a real gentleman. That definitely makes me want to watch the movie. Have you seen this? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to watch this. And I love that it's a scorpion at the end. It just has an unnecessary scorpion tail on the logo. <laughs> So that's all the tapes I've been watching. I'm so happy I fixed three of my five VHS players. They all died and I thought there was a weird magnet in the house. But it turns out I just had a bad run of dirty tapes. Not dirty like rude movies, but like dirty, dusty, gross, moldy tapes. And I put them in and they wrecked it. So I learned how to clean them. And now I can watch my movies again, which makes me so, so happy. I hope you guys are going okay. I love you so much. Hope you're enjoying watching a whole bunch of movies. Remember to check out Tubi. You can watch Full Moon Features. And let me know what you've been watching. I love you and I'll see you again real soon. Bye!